Good day everybody, welcome to this part of the video of the 5.4 3 valve timing job and in this video we are going to be installing the cam phaser lockouts. This is something I have decided to do because I've heard so many horror stories of people putting in new phasers, new chains, new tensioners and within a year, two years it starts rattling again. I'm hoping doing the cam phaser lockout with a tuner will solve that problem. Now before we remove the cam phaser for the lockout kit I'm using this OTC 6681 tool. It comes with the wedge and this, which we may use later on. And it kind of gives you some instructions on how it's supposed to work. So let's shove that little cheese wedge in there and see what's gonna happen. So a few things that I wanna do beforehand is I cleaned up where I'm gonna be marking it. And I'm also just going to take a measurement from the back of the phaser to here and it looks like we're about 41 millimeters a couple of things I want to do is I want to start making some references of where this chain is going to go paint her up all nice because you just you just never know right I also marked the cam on the back side there because these have a tendency to rotate counterclockwise. But I do have my lobes on the driver's side. This one's at about 11 o'clock and these ones are at about 8 o'clock and that's supposed to keep it pretty stable. But as a backup, I'm going to hopefully these open up enough. Otherwise, There we go. That should hold it in place just in case it decides to want to move. So we can get this, this wedge in there and sandwiched. I heard it might be uh, a little tricky to get her in out there. Oh, I think I dropped her in. So I got that wedge in there. She's down in there good. She ain't going nowhere. It's gonna lock the chain in place now. You see the phaser. I'm gonna remove the camshaft position sensor here. That way when I remove the phaser, it's not going to uh, damage it or damage these because if you bend these, you're gonna get some sort of code. So the sensor, eight millimeter. carefully yard this out probably got an o-ring seal it does we'll clean this up I we'll use big Bertha here yeah we're going got that out Wiggle the phaser off. See? My camshaft moved there. I guess it rotates clockwise. Alright. See if we can get this chain slid off here. for the wedge tool slide that to the side and our phasers out all right I have to ask the power of the internet for some help one of the reasons is apparently the old style phasers only had the one long bolt that's what this one has because first I thought it was broken off but the bolt doesn't appear that the pin had sheared off and the other one's the exact same so I'm like what are the odds of that so I asked the power of the internet, and the internet answered. So a couple things we're going to look at is the tone ring. Tone ring is nice and straight still. Uh, those roll pins inside 
aren't creeping out and that pin at the back looks like it's in good shape still so I marked the long bolt right there that we just need to break free and then we're going to remove those four soft jaws would come in handy here but I just put duct tape on the vise I just want to hold it in place there I just need it loose All right, gotta watch out wherever that little spring is hiding. I don't know where the frick it is. Oh, there it is. That's the little guy right there. Now the cam phaser lock is going to fit tight in one of these. Alright, let's look for the tightest fit. That's pretty loose. That one's pretty loose. I think that one is by far the tightest fit. Out of all the holes, that one there seems to be the tightest fit for me. I guess we'll reassemble it now. Okay, I'm going to push That little spring back, slide her back into place. Everything now need some blue Loctite. Need to put a little dab on the end of every one. Instructions tell you 145 inch pounds, which is about 12 foot pounds and I'm gonna go in like a crisscross pattern 12 foot pounds all the way around watch for the click last thing you want to do is over torque them things will not end well for you Perfect, that's it, we're in. Well, now well, the fun begins. Let's see if I can work this chain back on. Okay. Ooh. Daddy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Timing is on there. Now the fun begins. I'm trying to get it back onto the camshaft. Okay, I'm sliding on. I am sliding on. And I am on so the vice grips can come off. I just got to wiggle this thing onto place. We'll check our depth afterwards. Gonna feed the bolt in, hand tight, because that's what the instructions say. Somehow I forgot to mention this in the original recording, is that the cam phaser bolts are one time use only. The kit that I got came with a brand new bolt. Do not reuse the old bolt. And my measurement is perfect 41 millimeters the torque wrench is set 30 foot-pounds okay that's 30 foot-pounds right there now we have to torque to yield so I'm marking the bolt and then marking a reference point and I have to turn an additional 90 degrees should have my trusty breaker bar here 
and I got the crankshaft locked down below so let's a little bit more just a tad bit more uh, just to see here there we are we're good Let's follow the instruction. A custom tune file is already loaded into the SCT tuner. This tune is based on the four digit catch code provided when ordering. Ford may have updated your ECU with a new calibration when in service, so the actual calibration of the ECU may be different than the catch code. The strategy code must be checked to verify this. Plug it into your OBD2 port. Okay, it's loading up. Where do I have to go? Let's go vehicle info, I think it says. Turn key on ignition. Push and hold engine start button two to three seconds. Okay, turn key on. Go to continue. It says it's processing data. Codes match. It says let's go to program vehicle. Continue. Key on processing data. And we need to go to VCT lock tune processing data. It gives you a bunch of options. Um, global spark. This allows you to retard the entire engine timing curve. Uh, Spark at RPM range, this allows you to retard spark at a specific RPM range. If you have detonation in one of these ranges, you can you can reduce the timing with this option. Uh, I don't need to adjust any of those right yet. I'm going to hit approve. Default options. Turn the ignition key to the off position. Okay, it's in the off position. To the on position. Saving stock data. Now we're downloading the tune. Now it's starting to load a little faster. See what happens. First little virgin trip. Seems to be running really nice. All right, well, I'm gonna end the video there of doing the Campasia lockouts by 2006. F-150 5.43 valve. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that is probably the smoothest that engine has ran in seven years doing the camp phaser lockout. It runs so smooth now, it accelerates so much more better. It just all around, I'm very impressed with it. I'm glad I went with the route to do the camp phaser lockouts instead of replacing the camp phasers. Cause now this way, I don't have to worry about them ever again. They're permanently locked, end of story. Anyways, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Have a great day.